Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on security groups in AWS. So security groups is a very key concept in uh, AWS networking uh, landscape. Okay. So understanding security groups is uh, very critical to uh, enable your resources connectivity to the outside internet in a very secure and safe fashion. So understanding security groups will let you uh, manage your AWS resources connectivity to the internet and uh, will, he will help you protect your resources from unwanted internet traffic and etc. Okay, so uh, without any delay, let's get started. So firstly, what is a security group? So just we'll see the definition first and then we will uh, try to understand the security group uh, in depth by doing some hands on. Okay, so essentially security group is a set of uh, rules which define which traffic is permitted to enter or leave your AWS resources like EC2 instances, RDS database, etc. It acts as a, a virtual firewall. Okay, let's come back to this definition later. So now let's imagine that like, I mean, you have your AWS account and you have your VPC. Okay, you create an uh, AWS resource like EC2 instance or RDS database inside your VPC. Now, uh, let's say that uh, you are running a, let's say a, like a website on your EC2 server and you want the people uh, to be uh, able to access the website which is running on this instance from internet. Okay, but uh, you don't want uh, like say, let's say everyone to be able to access this website, right? So you want, uh, let's say you want to restrict uh, to a set of certain IPs or let's say a certain uh, region or things like that. Okay, so you define the rules, uh, you know, uh, specifying that, you know, who are, who is allowed to access the website which is running on your EC2 server from the internet and what traffic is allowed to leave from this instance to the internet. Okay, so this set of rules which you define is called as a security group. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, this the rules of this uh, that you define the security group will define what traffic can go in and out of this EC2 instance to the internet traffic through internet gateway. Okay, so this set of rules uh, is called as security group. Okay, so what are these rules actually? There are two kinds of rules that you define in your security group. There is an inbound rule and then there is an outbound rule. Inbound rule basically defines the traffic that is allowed to enter uh, the resource like EC2 instance or RDS database from external sources. Uh, so like basically what I'm saying is the inbound rules will define who can uh, get into your EC2 instance and access the uh, like website that is running on your EC2 instance. You can define a set of IPs or you can define only the ports that are open to the internet and things like that. We will see more when we do a hands-on. Okay, outbound rule is basically it defines the traffic that is allowed to leave a resource uh, to external destinations. So what traffic is allowed to leave this uh, destination like uh, instance to the internet traffic. Uh, it, usually we keep this, we allow all the traffic to go out, but we will only allow a few people to be able, uh, able to access the instance from internet. Okay, so uh, that was a brief overview on the security groups. So now let's do some hands on and see how security groups work in uh, real, world, real world. Okay, so uh, first like, let's see, I mean, uh, I'm in my AWS console. Uh, I'll just create one EC2 instance. Okay, click on launch instance and let's call this as test server or something. Amazon Linux is fine. I'll just create some uh, free tier eligible uh, account uh, EC2 instance. The key pair name, I will create a new key pair. I'll create a PPK file because I will be using a putty. So uh, let's call this test server PPK. Okay, so now this is downloaded. And uh, so what I'll do is, this is going to uh, the default VPC. And uh, so the security group, well, let's call this. So here, if you see, there is allow SSH traffic from anywhere. So what I'll do here is, I will uncheck this box for now. Okay, we'll see what that means later. Okay, so I'll just create a instance with the basic settings, okay. So now uh, this EC2 instance is created. Now uh, what we have done is we have created an EC2 instance inside the VPC. Okay. Now let's see if we can able to uh, log in, log, like access this instance from uh, outside this VPC, like from the internet. Okay. Okay. So to log in, I'll just uh, open 
putty in my local so i'm trying to log in into the cc2 instance from my local which is same as logging accessing from internet let me expand this session ssh here and auth okay um click on credentials and click on the private key file for authentication click on browse and let's take this one so this is the one that we downloaded and let me go back to session and let's open the session okay so here now if you see uh, it's basically we're trying to log in uh, into this ec2 instance from the internet right so let's see what happens so uh, we got this error uh, saying that the network error connection timed out so basically we are not able to uh, get into that ec2 instance using ssh uh, connection so now let so this means that the instance is not allowing any uh, traffic from the outside uh, into it so what we will do is we will click on this instance and we will go to the security and basically so this is the security group that is attached to this uh, ec2 instance okay so let's click on the security group so here we are going to define a set of rules uh, basically to allow the traffic into this instance so i'll click on this edit inbound rules I'll click on add rule and let's say all tcp now you can do custom tcp as well and just hello on one port and uh, so source so where do you want the traffic uh, to be allowed from so you can give anywhere so this means that the traffic will be allowed uh, from any ip from the internet so if you want to give a fine grained access to a set of ips so you can specify those ips uh, here uh, you can also give access to only one, your ip as well so i'll just give access to uh, from anywhere in the internet okay so i'll take this and you can give an a or description allow traffic from his internet or something like that so now what we have done is we have allowed all tcp traffic uh, into this instance from anywhere and outbound ref outbound rules by default uh, allows the traffic into uh, like to all the destinations okay so now this is the, the uh, rules that we have defined in this sec for the security group which is attached to the ec2 instance now again let's try to log in into this in instance using ssh we go to putty and let me put in the host name ssh auth credentials browse and click on open let's call let's accept this so now if you see it is asking login so by default it is easy to user click on enter and yep if you see it authenticated and uh, we are connected to the ec2 instance from the internet now from my local okay so uh, so that is a role of a security group you basically have the control of allowing the traffic which can uh, come into your ec2 or like any aws resource uh, server uh, and what can go out of your uh, ec2 or aws resource okay so i hope uh, this demo was helpful for you to understand the importance of security group um, in aws okay thank you and i'll see you in the next video